Hello everyone, my name's Jonathan and welcome to my channel, Jonathan's Diamond Painting and Stuff. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're just coming back to me, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you with me today. So I, my videos this week are a bit mixed up. I was going to do Dragon Brigade um, to release this part of this week, but unfortunately life gets in the way. Um, and me and my friend aren't going to be able to film that until uh, Thursday or Friday. So I think I might mix my videos up a bit this week. So uh, today I'm going to do a um, video on mounting my uh, my literate dragon project, that I, my first diamond painting that I first introduced my channel with. I'm going to be mounting it using uh, these magnet um, uh, frames. Just so I got these from AliExpress. I think they're about 20 or 30 quid. They had them in all different colours, but because of the style of this room, I felt um, pine wood um, was was the best um, best for this project, you know. I did think about some other colours like white, but my friend Sarah just thought that it would clash with the uh, with the colours in the project. So the idea of these is, if you, if any of you don't know, is uh, you're supposed to be able to just basically clip these to the top of the project and to the bottom and it just hangs but unfortunately with diamond paintings they're very heavy so these magnets aren't really quite strong enough so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using some Gorilla Tape um, to basically secure it a bit stronger okay but that is for a little bit later First, I need to prepare the project to use these. Okay, so when I uh, finish my diamond painting, I put it away um, into into one of the boxes. Um, I used one of the film things. This is why it's always good to keep these film bags um, because um, you never know when they're like coming useful. So I rolled it up with the drills facing outwards. You always want to have the drills facing outwards because. Um, they'll pop off if you do it inwards because the jewels are kind of going against their natural flow that way. So always um, have them facing outwards. Now, when I put this away, I noticed that there was a drill, some drills missing somewhere. Ah, and I can see them now. But what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to do this trick, basically, where I learned on, I think it was a VIP group. Oh, look at all that hair. I will have to deal with that as well in a minute. <sighs> my cat's to blame for that. But what I'm going to do is basically turn my light board on and have a look at the project and see if there are any gaps. And then they show up here. So... I've got those ones I knew I forgot. A, B's show up quite white anyway. But I'm just going to just go around the project, see if there's any discrepancies, and um, just um, see. So you can see these ones here are whiter than the rest. So just check those. Yeah, those are the ones I know about. And there's one here, but that's an A, B, I think. Yep. Um, so I think we're all happy here. I'm doing this because I'm going to kick down this project afterwards, and I don't want uh, I don't want to um, have to like get the drills back out and everything. And some of us might not be keeping the drills. I mean, I was on half a mind to get rid of the drills because this is an old style kit, so it's the original drills um, from a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, so I'm just lifting this up so I don't scratch the drills. And I'm doing it, and yeah, I think I just see A, B's here, nothing suspicious here. I'm just going to go across and look at the next bit again. I can't see anything odd here. I will look um, at the top to see if there's anything else obvious. Ah, that's an A, B, I think. Oh, no, no, it's not. We spotted one. So there's one up here in this bottom, sorry, this top left corner as well. So, yeah, so I will um, sort that one out in a minute. Oops, don't do that, Jonathan. Right, and I can't see any more, I don't think. 
Okay, so we've just got those two areas. So what I'll do now is just turn it right way up and find those areas and just quickly put those drills in. Okay, so where are we? We were down here somewhere, weren't we? <laughs> I lost them again. Just a second. Jonathan, you're not going crazy. It was in one of these blue sections, wasn't it? I feel like I'm going mad today. <laughs> oh, it's over here. Oh, it's because it was that way and it was that side. Oh, you can see, you can tell I've got blonde, uh, the blonde go, getting into my head today, but yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so I've got a K and two um, black, so dot, so a K and two black dot. Just get a drill tray out. And my drill pen, where are you? Here we are. So, two black. And I know you, what you're thinking, um, how do I know it's still going to be sticky enough? Um, these canvases stay sticky for a long time after you finish them. And this has only been a few weeks, really, um, that this has been like this. So I'm not too worried about it being... Um, uh, the glue having gone, you know, so, but obviously, ideally, you should do that trick um, before you put it away, if you are going to put it away and not hang it, because this glue, glue does cure once it's all done, and I'm told it shrinks ever so slightly, so if you're worried about gapping, that can improve a little bit after a few months of being completed, because as the glue, glue dries and cures, Okay, uh, so that's those two, and we just had one up here, didn't we? I'm just going to bring this down. Okay, where was it? This is why you think you can be forgiven for missing the odd drill, because it is so hard to see from the right side. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? It's on this side. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so that's just dot dot brown, so let me find that, here we are, and again, just one in there, and we are done, there we go, that is it, all ready to hang, well, to prepare to hang, sorry, I thought I dropped a drill, I'm sure it will slip off the canvas when <laughs> at the end of this video well after i've done all the um framing and everything i will kit down all those drills and i'll do my final post review if you'd rather uh, not watch that bit because it might be a bit tedious i mean i think i'll probably do speed up some of the some of the um scenes um but you know you can just um, stop the video you know when you've when we've done the interesting framing bit don't want to bore you unnecessarily. So I'm just going to take this light board away now. Just a second. Right, so in order for this to look good, um, when you've got the frames at the top and the bottom, um, I'm going to remove the side, uh, these um, side um, bits, so the, um, the canvas on the left and right um, of the of the design okay and to do that I am going to use a um, like a um, sewing ruler an acrylic ruler um, it's I've been waiting for ages to do this video because I lost my acrylic ruler now this ruler is quite a special one it's part of the true cut range so basically it has a little ridge on the side and it comes with a matching rotary cutter and the rotary cutter actually locks in onto the side of this ruler um, and just makes it easier to get a more precise cut. Now I I did have a little bit of a practice on a rubbishy Chinese one just to be warned because this is the first time you cutting um, your um, diamond painting I would caution you to you know be sure you know of how you're doing it and everything I mean it's not rocket science some people cut these with scissors but I like I want to get a nice precise cut which is not why I've got the long one I will need to do it in two cuts um, but that's you know 
by the by. So anyway, so let's um get going. Oh, this is scary. I've got a large cutting mat here underneath the painting. Um, you don't have to have a ridiculously large one. You could have a smaller one and do it in smaller sections. But I had this already from when I had my business a few years ago. And I'm just going to line this up so that it's... I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to chop any drills off when I... Um, when I cut down here. It's a bit of a balancing act because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the I'm just gonna cut the top bit and make sure that I'm happy with the line that it's done and then I'll carry on and do the rest once I'm happy with that. Okay, so let me just so I've taken the guard off my rotary cutter and just yeah, I think that's pretty good. I mean, you will get a tiny, tiny bit of white to the side. It's quite hard to get exactly on the other side of the drills without um, chopping the drills off, you know, so just be aware of that. But I don't think that will be that noticeable, you know, once... Um, once it's hanging. Okay, so again, I'm just going to go right from down here. There we go. Wonderful. And this is when I'm going to push the painting. Oh, just get that chair out of the way. And then we're just going to do the final bit. I can see when I got to this lower section, it did come away slightly so I'm just going to line that up to just go over that bit again just to get the neatest cut I can yep okay perfect so yep I'm very happy with that okay I'm just going to repeat the same on the other side, okay? Now, if you do inadvertently go over some drills, there is the opportunity to just remove them and then replace them with new drills because the canvas will still be sticky enough. Okay. But that is the sides all prepared now. So now what we need to do is we need to prepare the top and the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to turn it right way around. Okay. Actually, I'm just wondering if I want to do a cleaner cut <laughs> of one of these bits or whether I want to just leave it because I don't want to overdo it, but there is a bit more white showing on this section that I could just trim off. It's never going to be 100% perfect. But I think that looks pretty damn good, to be honest. Okay. Right. Um, so, already it's looking amazing, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is I need to measure uh, for these... Um, I need to measure for these magnet bars. So, let's do the top ones first. I want them both exactly the same. So, I don't think it really matters which, I think, I guess that would go from the, is that the front or the back? Just trying to work this out. It goes down the middle, so it really doesn't matter which way you do it, you know. So, I'm just... 
just going to use this one as a guide. I'm just literally going to put it on the top of my painting and I'm just going to get a sharp pencil, extremely sharp pencil, and just draw on the top, of, top line of that. Okay. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same on the bottom. I'll use the bottom one, even though they're pretty much the same. I just want to be sure I've got it right. And then again, draw a pencil, it's a very sharp pencil to get a clean line, as accurate as you can, to the bottom there, really nowhere to cut then. Then we just get rid of these. I'm going to turn the canvas. Again, do exactly what we did, but we're going to cut along that line now. Okay, there we go. You will get like that kind of raised edge, making this a little bit more difficult, but try and be as accurate as you can. It's not the end of the world if it's slightly under or over. And just cutting. There we go. And just pushing forward, I'm just going to cut the rest now. Again, turn the canvas. I have watched videos on how to do this technique on YouTube, but I didn't really find a lot which went into a lot of detail. So I'm trying to give you as much detail about how I'm doing it as I possibly can because, you know, obviously I want you to be, you guys to be able to do this um, and refer to this video. And I doubt, I no doubt will be referring to this video myself because um, I, I forget things too, you know, so. <laughs> but it's always useful, you know, to have a coherent guide. Oh, sorry, just not laying that up right. There, oh, there we go. Okay, so that is it all ready. Don't won't be needing that anymore. Now, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be you. I'm going to be using some Gorilla Tape. So this is Gorilla Tape. It's a bit like Gorilla Glue. It's the same people that make it, obviously, um, but um, it's. Um, it's just or has the glue in the tape, so it's a bit easier to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I think from the guide I read when it came, is you're supposed to put vertical lines, not horizontal lines, because I thought I could have just gone all the way along. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have just lots of little vertical strips um, on the front and then some vertical strips on the back and then I'm just going to stick them all to the canvas and then they'll stick to hopefully this front and that back, okay? You could equally use Gorilla Glue for this. Uh, I just thought this was a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner. Oh, sorry, just protect that. Okay, let's try and find some scissors. Okay. So I think the easiest thing to do would be really to put it on directly onto the canvas and then stick the ruler on top. This, these rulers are actually, sorry, the, the magnet frames are actually slightly wider, so I'll need to be sure I'm positioning those accurate, um, accurately when I'm doing it in a minute. You can get them the exact size or cut them to the exact size. My husband and Sarah felt that it would be best to cut them to, um, to have them slightly wider. I'll have to wait and see how I feel about that once this is mounted and see if I want to do the next one differently. So it's just shy of two centimetres. So I'll do maybe 1.8 centimetres. Yeah, that's 
too deep. Okay. And so, so let me think. That's horizontal. to chop a little bit of this off though. Yeah, perfect. And I'm just going to repeat that across the whole thing. Just going to peel all these off. And it's actually quite hard to get off. I'll see if the tweezers help any. So that's all done. I think I'm going to put this one on the front. So I just need. So let's have a look, shall we? It's 80 wide, so I need 5 centimeters either side. So I just get 5. I should have put the board the other way up. Just literally sticking this down. Putting some pressure on these points. And just see where they all are. Oh, missing that one. Oh, did I forget to pay? Oh my god, Jonathan. Because you're on camera, I missed peeling one of them. <laughs> Where did those tweezers go? I don't know how I did that. I, I bet you spotted me do that while I was doing the video, though. <sighs> there we go. And sticking that one down as well. Okay. And then I'm just going to flip it over. Before I prepare this side, I'm just going to go and get my pet um, brush. In case any of you don't know what these are, these are just a sticky brush for removing pet hair from clothes and stuff. They're really, really cheap. I think this is an Ikea one, but you can get them from most household stores. In the UK anyway, and I'm guessing America, they have these. And it's just really good for getting rid of pet hair and stuff. It's just coming off beautifully. I don't even want to know why I've got chocolate on the back of this. <laughs> Sometimes it will take more than one sheet. Because there's quite a lot on this one. I don't know what I did to the canvas. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be on the back, so it's not that big a deal, but I just thought I'll try and make this as clean as I can. Yeah, that's looking pretty damn good. Okay, 
Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put some gorilla tape on the other side and I'm gonna match it to where all the gorilla tape is on the front side, okay? Okay, now I'm just going to stick the other side over. There we go. The magnets help it snap <coughs> into place. I'm going to press at every single point. Once I'm done, I'll probably put some heavy books over this overnight to make sure it's, you know, absolutely allowed to cure overnight. I'll just test it briefly. Yeah, so that that's holding the weight well at the moment. Okay. So now I'm just going to repeat that process down here. Okay. Final one on. Let's give it a good press down. And like I said, what you should probably do now is press these overnight so that they're um, so that that glue is well and truly cured. But I'm just going to quickly hang it so you can see what it looks like. Got a hook up here already for a calendar, which says September, so I do need to change that. Um, but I think this will be a little bit low, and will need to be higher. But yeah. I will just get the camera over, and you can see it in all its glory. I don't know about you, but I think that looks amazing. The only thing I'll say that I might do differently next time is, you can see here at the top, I could have maybe trimmed that back a little bit. So particularly at the top where it's more noticeable, I don't think, I think once I've got this hung at the correct height, I won't even notice that to be honest. Um, but I think um, next time I'd probably just make that line maybe a mill mill a milliliter up. A milli milliliter, a millimeter or two shorter, you know. So that's definitely going to go within the bars. But apart from that, I think that looks pretty damn fantastic. Sorry, I used them twice. It all three times in this video. I do apologise.
But yeah, I think that looks amazing and I'm really pleased with that and I'm pleased I'm going to be looking at that every day. I'm so chuffed. All right. So there you have it. My simple framing guide to framing any diamond painting really cheaply and really effectively uh, and obviously making sure it doesn't fall down, you know, because those magnet frames aren't quite strong enough for a, a general diamond painting. This isn't useful for really, 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 really long diamond paintings because they're just too long for the, for the bars to take away and they don't tend to make them that length. I'll have to experiment to see if I could like make some that length and see how that would work with the glue and everything but I just think with the weights and the distribution and everything it might not be the most effective solution but for any up to about 80 or 90 um, I think it'd be fine and I think actually they do go up to those sizes and but you do struggle to get the wood uh, with wider than that okay but I think that's a pretty amazing look and I'm really, really pleased with that. So yeah, just um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, was this uh, tutorial useful to you? I really, really hope it was. I was scared doing that for so long, like, cause it's cutting into my canvas for the very first time. And I was like, <laughs> but I did it. I got there and we, you know, I, I, I feel like you were all with me, even though you know, you're not yet, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, I was, um, yeah, bricking it then but it all worked out in the end so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take that down and i'm going to put some books over all over those end bits overnight just to properly press uh, that gorilla glue um so it sets properly overnight uh, just a long term to make sure that the glue is as set as it can be uh, to prevent it from um falling apart <laughs> okay so I'll see you later in the week, hopefully for Dragon Brigade unboxing. And I think that my um, weekly progress update might be delayed to later on in the weekend slash Monday. Okay, just so you know, but fortunately life is getting in the way a little bit at the moment, but I, I will get there, you know, and I will get that content out there for you. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button or, uh, and um, and, and hit the bell icon for notifications if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and um, and obviously, thumbs up the video if you liked it, because it helps this video be found by more people. Um, and I think this video could be quite helpful to people that are a little bit on the edge about hanging their paintings. Okay? As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now!